Howdy, folks. Welcome to Post to Post. Welcome to Jersey Content Friday. My name is Neil, if you're new. And today is the day where we look at your work. Designers in the community, they submit their work to the channel, and I react, review, rank it, and we just have some fun as a community going through, picking our favorite designs, critiquing them, and uh, providing some constructive criticism to the designers. First, if you're coming back from my video earlier today where I talked about the Dallas Stars uh, specialty jersey, I'm wearing Dallas again. I'm just filming these back to back, so I apologize for wearing Dallas two videos in a row, two times in one day. But regardless, let's get into this. But here's the thing, okay? These are different than what we normally do on the channel. These are technic these are technically NHL concepts, but not our current NHL. We're going back to what did he name this series? He called it a revival revival series jerseys. So these are teams that you know may have existed in the NHL in the past, and he's kind of created. And he, I mean Drew, who a longtime you know artist that we've featured on the channel here, he's created these jerseys. There's 19. I have not seen them, but I know Drew. I know his talents. I know what he can do. He's amazing. So I don't have to see them. We're going to react to these together. I'm going to look at them for, look at them for the first time. You're going to look at them for the first time. We're going to have some fun here. And I've got a bit of a challenge for you at the end of the video. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video because I've got a challenge to, for Jersey Concept Designers for future submissions. And I think you guys are going to like it. So stick around to the end to hear, that, to hear that. But let's get into this. Starting off with, I think the first one is the Atlanta Flames. I'm just looking at the file names here. So let's bring it up actually. Uh, and let's uh, let's react. Let's go. All right. So, oh, okay. Wow. Incredible start. We got the Atlanta Flames here. And I just look at this and I think, how did the New Jersey Devils come out with their alternate and not do this or something like this? Like, I know we're talking Atlanta Flames here and that's great. Atlanta Flames went to Calgary Flames, but this is New Jersey Devils. Like, the, what a beautiful gradient. The black and and the and the red just mixing together in that gradient, I that's a fire at night. That's that's hell reaching up. This is New Jersey Devils. This is this is incredible. I I picture a beautiful New Jersey Devils logo on there. Maybe a bit of a a red glow on the outside or something. I'm not sure. Just to kind of match the theme of the gradient. But this is a beautiful jersey. Sometimes I would say most of the time gradients don't work, but in my opinion, it works here. I see New Jersey Devils. That's all I can see. I know this is Flames, and it's like that logo is amazing. But I, I'm just I get so many Devils vibes here. Uh, this needs to happen for the Devils. Let's move on. The next one's called the Brooklyn Americans. So we wow. Okay, we're familiar with this team, obviously in the history. This is a very strange jersey, not in a bad way, but I'm getting influence here from maybe the Columbus Blue Jackets reverse retro, uh, Washington Capitals, obviously a little bit in here, and some New York Rangers as well. So, oh man, the Brooklyn Americans. This, it's a cool jersey. I'm trying to like, this is a difficult video to go through because I'm kind of thinking, you know, with this work in the NHL, well, no, number one, this team doesn't exist. But number two, it's so close to the Washington Capitals that I don't think this would work. It's a cool jersey. It's a really cool jersey. I would prefer squared off shoulders. You know, if that's my constructive criticism for this one, I would prefer squared off shoulders. But I kind of like what's going on with the rest of it. It's very, it's very old school, which is you know the intention behind behind this team. Next is the California Seals. Wow, this is super modern actually for the Seals. I kind of wasn't expecting a modern take of it. I love the California State shoulder patch up there. the The perspective of it seems a little bit off. The California State outline, which is cool on the other shoulder, provides a bit of imbalance, which is sometimes a negative thing. I think it's okay here. The striping is be is beautiful, actually. The logo itself blends in a little bit to the background. I don't know if I'd make that seal the same teal. <laughs> I might make it a different color just to help it stand out a little bit. Maybe, I guess white wouldn't really make sense, um, but I'm not sure. I just, I find it blends in quite a bit with the with the background. But it's, this is a really nice, this is a beautiful jersey, actually. I, very complimentary colors, very modern. Good job on this one. Next is the Cleveland Barons. Oh, I almost get like pirate vibes from this the the font and and the logo itself obviously very simple striping uh very basic jersey uh, not my favorite uh, i you know i'd probably give like a six or a seven out of ten definitely uh, above average but still nothing too too special about this the best part about it is the font and you know the numbers and the letters in my opinion just because it's so unique let's move on to the next one that's going to be the colorado rockies oh you guys know how much i love the rockies it doesn't even matter you could put Anything Rockies, you could put it on a shoe and I'd buy it. Like that's how much I love the brand. And this is so well executed. The symmetry, the balance between the sleeves at the bottom and the middle of the jersey, how that balances the, you know, the the whole design on the bottom of the sleeve, just beautiful. 
unfortunately, that would get covered if I'm thinking like logistically and physically producing this jersey. Unfortunately, most of that would get covered up by the gloves, but it doesn't matter. It's a really cool jersey, and I I envision I I think I envision red pants and red gloves here just to kind of blend down. But maybe maybe not. Maybe it'd be blue pants and blue gloves. Not sure. Let, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. But uh, this is a great jersey, Detroit Cougars. Okay, I instantly forgot about the NHL, and I'm just thinking like college or not college team, like high school team. This reminds me so much of like of a high school, not necessarily hockey team, but just a high school team in general. Whether it's football, or whether it's basketball, it just feels so themed. Like there's there's a paw print on the shoulder. There's the in the logo itself is, is beautiful. It's really modern and nice. It reminds me of the Florida Panthers logo on the patch there. But the the tear in the striping, really cool aspect. It screams high school to me, high school team. That's not a bad thing. That it means nothing. Uh, the jersey itself is beautiful. I love the burgundy. It complements nicely with the cream or with the off-way. I love the stylization of the rips going through there. It doesn't speak NHL, but that doesn't matter. It's a lovely design. Next up is the Falcons. Whoa, do you see what's going on here? This is a beautiful jersey. Oh my, oh, oh my. Okay, number one, the burgundy and the yellow, I would say is are an average color combination. Uh, I don't hate it, I don't love it. Uh, some of it is complimentary. I find the, the burgundy with the red highlights on the actual Falcon is more complimentary. Uh, with the yellow versus just the reg the rest of the jersey that doesn't have the red. There is something that we need to discuss, and that is the flow or the scene that is being created here in this jersey. And it is the coolest part of the jersey and is the most important part, in my opinion. Drew's done something extremely smart here. He's taken the mascot or creature of the team, which is the Falcon, the logo, and he's replicated a bit of the scene or a bit of the movement in the jersey itself. The The wings come up and then they come down. There's There's this you know, bowing movement that happens, this angular movement of wings is just natural. And he's replicated that in the way that the jersey is designed by having the striping come down and not just come straight down the arm, but having some of that same curvature coming down the arm. It replicates the movement. It's, it, you see it subconsciously here. It, it just mimics, the, it's not the same angle as what's on the logo. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. That angle is always changing because wings are always moving. So just the, the fact that it's angled like that, is a really cool, intelligent way to kind of innovate the design in the sense where you're 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 just making it special, making it stand out a little bit more than just simple striping, and you're just showcasing some of your some of your skills and talents there to to add that subtle little touch. I just think something like that really brings a, a it, it's special. Like this makes this a special jersey, and you might be watching this, and you might be thinking, who cares this much about about a jersey striping? angular pattern like it just it's so insignificant you know why are you spending time on this well i look at a lot of jerseys okay i look at thousands of jerseys per year on this channel from designers and a lot of the time you know 80 percent of the time they're very generic designs i've seen them a thousand times okay but when you get something like this something that's just a little bit different i really appreciate it and i want to spend the time on it that i think it deserves and i think this one deserves a lot of time i think other color combinations would complement this design better possibly make this the perfect jersey but right now it's still a very very good design um great job on this one drew seriously great job next is the hamilton tigers okay so uh, we have seen some some hamilton tigers concepts in the past i would say this is sort of similar to some of them a little bit more modern i guess it reminds me of the winnipeg jets actually a little bit how that striping kind of comes down and it's, it's split a little bit it's perfect i think for the hamilton tigers i again i don't if you guys know me, you guys know I don't like these colors too much, uh, usually together. Uh, the shoulder patch looks good on the yellow. Um, it's I would say this is kind of maybe just above average jersey, but nothing special for me personally. Subjective, obviously. Hartford Whalers. <laughs> oh, the logo's changed. Wow, oh, okay. Ooh, that might be a no-no, Drew. I don't... Yeah, I'm going to say you can't you can't touch that logo, okay? You can't touch this. That that can't happen. I would, Leave the logo alone. Don't try to modernize it. I, I don't think it needs modernized. It is the it is the goat logo, not the goat logo. That's from Buffalo. It is it's the greatest of all time hockey logo. The Hartford Whalers logo. It's amazing. It just needs to be what it is always. It never needs to be changed. I don't like the striping on the shoulders as well. So constructive criticism wise, it reminds me of football, not hockey. So I would say actually this jersey is probably a miss for me because of the striping on the shoulder and because of the modernized logo. 
I, even though I don't like it, I appreciate the attempt. And that's important because while, you know, Drew might hit a home run 99% of the time, it's still always good to try new things because someone out there really might like it. I don't think I'm right. I'm just telling you my opinion. You may love this modernized logo and you wouldn't be wrong, but I'm not wrong either. It is all subjective. There is no right or wrong, but I really appreciate the attempt to kind of try something new. There's not enough of that. So the attempt, knowing that you might fail or might, someone might dislike it, just making the attempt in general, being okay with that attempt, even it might see some rejection, is very important, I think, in the design world. And I appreciate Drew for doing that. Next is the Kansas City Scouts. Oh my God. Can you imagine if this team existed like this with this jersey and matched up against the Arizona Coyotes wearing the Kachina jerseys? This is this that's a matchup of a lifetime there. Look at the pattern, the intricacies in the neck, in the striping, the colors, so complimentary. Uh, very cool modern logo. This is a, a wonderful jersey. Uh, an absolutely wonderful jersey. Yeah, uh, maybe some colorization down at the bottom of the jersey. Uh, just a subtle little yellow stripe or a red stripe, maybe at the bottom of the arms and the bottom of the jersey. But then again, maybe not. I, I like this jersey a lot. This is, this, is, <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, next up is the Minnesota North Stars. We're familiar with this team. Look at this jersey. Lovely trees along the bottom there. It is slightly repeating. I'd like to see a little bit more uniqueness from the trees, I guess I would say. It's the exact same tree design. It's just the elevation has changed on each one. Trees look very similar from a distance, but up close, they're, they're, they're different. So I, even though this, we're kind of looking at them from a, difference, a distance here, I would like to see just a little bit of differentiation between from tree to tree, just so it doesn't feel like that kind of repeating like winter wrapping paper pattern. So maybe a little bit more detail, or maybe not detail, differentiation in the bottom of the trees and the jersey. Everything else in the jersey is fantastic. The different shades of green, the numbers look beautiful on there. The shoulder patch is probably the best part, my favorite part, it looks awesome. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool jersey. What's up next? Montreal Maroons, ooh. Yeah, okay, this one's gonna be missed for me instantly. I don't like the shoulders. The cream and the burgundy, or maroon rather, jeez, that was, a, that was a huge fail. They're literally called the maroons and I said burgundy. <sighs> it's not a good day. So <laughs> the cream and the maroon, uh, I I think it's the shade of the cream. I think it needs to be either lighter or darker. It's almost, I, I can't explain it, just maybe a gut feeling. It's just not working for me. I, don't, I, also, I also don't like the stripe in the background in the middle, but the shoulders shape is what I don't like the most. I just prefer personal preference, just squared off shoulders. Next is the Montreal Wanderers. Oh, okay. I've never really liked that logo. Lots of people have kind of used it in concepts. It's just, it looks like a superhero logo for me and maybe it's supposed to, but everything else about the jersey is pretty cool. Maybe not so much the numbers. I find it's, those are really hard to see since they're white and they're on a bit of a light gray. So I would make that section a little bit darker so the numbers stand out or make the numbers red possibly, but the shoulders are beautiful. I, that they stand out so well. Um, really like that a lot. Let's move on. And it's going to be the Philadelphia Quakers. Okay. So if you're familiar with the Quakers jersey, it is very linear in the sense that there's a, like, there's a lot of striping on the arms. And he replicates it here a little bit, but he doesn't go overboard, which I think is important because you could argue that that original jersey, uh, Quakers jersey, it does go hard, right? So I think it's a good balance here. Kept with the Philadelphia Flyers colors. Uh, m new logo. He's got the uh, Liberty Bell on there and uh, maybe missing a shoulder patch. Um, it's being really critical of me, but this is a cool, this is a cool jersey. I do like this. Next is the Pittsburgh, po oh, snap. Oh, Lordy, this is nice. That is, <laughs> man, I really like this a lot. I'm thinking Tampa Bay Lightning. Like what if the Tampa Bay Lightning did something like this, not with the yellow, but with their blue, maybe a, bit of, a lighter shade of blue exact same jersey, exact same logo, lighter sh shade of blue, and then introduce maybe some lightning in the background. Instead of the sword, there's two lightning bolts or something. That would be badass. So yeah, this is the Pittsburgh Pirates and it is cool in these colors and it looks amazing. I love the angular uh, striping there. Just just make it different. I want Tampa Bay Lightning to do something like this. I don't, They'll never do it, but I want them to do something like this. I really like this. And I like the fact that it's not black, it's gray, just something different. Quebec Bulldogs. This is this is a weird team. I just Quebec anything other than Nordiques is just weird. So I understand that this team existed and that's fine. Now I will say that the black does complement 
great, I think, everywhere else on the jersey, but there is none in the logo, and it feels like it's missing. Because when I look at the logo, it's almost, you know, it feels two-tone, but then everywhere else in the jersey, it's blue, white, and black. None in the middle. So I feel like it's missing. Even the numbers have a black stroke on it. So I would try to introduce a little bit of black in the middle there just for balance reasons. But uh, other than that, I think it's a, it's a fine jersey. The striping on the arm makes sense for how old the team is. Next, Eagles, St. Louis Eagles. If the Montreal Canadiens got renamed to the Montreal Eagles, this might work. Now there's a bit of a texture in the darker blue section, which is the shoulders and where the number is. I don't know what that texture is. It's really hard for me to see actually on my screen, but a really cool jersey, uh, <laughs> a really cool jersey. I I love that logo. It's so simple. It almost looks like a, an MLS logo in a way. And I don't know why I'm saying that, but it just, I just get those vibes, just a gut feeling. The neck, a little bit too thick on the red if I'm being super critical, but otherwise that's a, that's a very nice jersey. I like it a lot. Next is the Thrashers, okay. The Atlanta Thrashers can do no wrong. It, it doesn't matter what the jerseys look like. Amazing logo, incredible colors. Really cool d design here. It even, the way that the it comes down, it mimics the alternate logo in a way, which is damn cool itself. So this is this is 100%. This goes hard and it goes perfect. And Drew, great job. And the last one I think is the Toronto Arenas. It is the Toronto Arenas. Ooh, kind of superhero vibes with this one as well. I think I prefer the old school, maybe original style Toronto Arenas jersey. I don't, I feel like this maybe gets away from their brand a little bit, but I appreciate the attempt at kind of modernizing it. And it does have the squared off shoulders, which is which is a good thing. But uh, yeah, I think my favorite, let's pick a favorite here. Uh, that Pittsburgh one, oh, that Pittsburgh one is amazing. That The Scouts one is incredible. But the, and then the, what was it, the Falcons one? The Falcons one, amazing. But honestly, I think my favorite one was the first one I saw, which was the Flames, the Atlanta Flames, just strictly from the sense that this could be a New Jersey Devils jersey, and it would be perfect, and I would buy the crap out of this jersey if it was a Devils jersey. So, Drew, I mean, all these were really, really good. There was some, I would say, I guess only one that I didn't like. It was the Hartford Whalers one, but that's just because it broke it broke the cardinal rule of not changing the Whalers logo, but yeah, awesome job, Drew. Thank you so much for submitting these. Like always, you, you've you done a wonderful job, and I'm sure you'll get lots of love in the comment section. If you guys have an extra couple of minutes and you have time to leave a comment down below in the comment section telling Drew your favorite, maybe getting giving him some constructive criticism as well, some feedback, make sure it's not rude. I mean, it, it's supposed to be constructive and helpful, not rude. We're all part of the same community. It's great to help each other and uh, be nice and make friends as well. So I'd appreciate if you can do that. Now, here's the suggestion or the the request for a future uh, series, if you don't. Yeah, I guess we'll call it a series. So a coworker actually came to me a couple of weeks ago, and I, this was supposed to be in two Fridays ago video, and I forgot, and then I forgot last Friday. And he suggested, Neil, I've not seen any mascot themed jersey concept series on your channel you've done a lot there's been color rush there's been city themed jerseys uh, reverse retro twos and recolorized reverse retros and there's there's been all kinds of themes of series of jersey concepts on your channel but i've not seen mascot themed jerseys and i thought damn you're right we've not seen that so i challenge all of the jersey concept designers out there if you're looking for something new uh, kind of a series to go with Maybe think about the mascot series because I think it was a really good suggestion and I would love to see it. What that means to you, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of envisioning running with maybe new logos or maybe not new logos, but I, I don't know. I that that's it, whatever. I don't know what that means to you. Mascot theme. It could be a whole sublimation print jersey, or it could be uh, just a you know the the mascot on there with a modernized kind of version logo of it. I have no idea. Whatever that means to you. I'm not trying to dictate your creativity. Whatever whatever you come up with, I would love to see it. I love looking at your designs. And I think if sharing the creativity, you guys do all the work. I just, I'm just a conduit. You guys do the work and I share it. And I think, like, I know as a designer and as a photographer, seeing other people's work inspires me. So if I'm a viewer watching this or another designer and I'm looking at someone else's work, even though some of it I might not like, it's almost surely going to inspire me. And I love that about the community. I love sharing your work because it inspires others. I'm just the middleman. I do nothing. But I, I really appreciate the community here. I appreciate you guys coming on board, hitting the subscribe button, coming back every Friday for these videos. They're the videos that perform the best on the channel. And I think that's because we love design and we love looking at possibilities of jerseys. 
and it's just fun. And it's it's fun. The lighter side of hockey is fun. Sometimes hockey gets too serious, and that's another reason why I like these videos because we can just have fun and go through and just theorize about what things could look like. So if you've got time, leave your comments down below of the jerseys. If you got if you designers have time, come up with a mascot series, send it in. We'd love to see it. And uh, let's have some fun. Have a great weekend. It's going to snow like 25 centimeters here. I don't know what that is in inches, but it's going to snow a bunch here this weekend. I'm, I'm hunkering down. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm in for the weekend. So wherever you are, whatever the, the weather is like there, stay safe and uh, have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you tomorrow, actually. I think there's going to be another video tomorrow as well as Sunday. And then, of course, Monday into next week. Have a great weekend. Talk to you guys soon. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.